Hey guys, how are you doing? This is the new addition to our family. This is Sadie, our chocolate lab. She's going to be having a lot of fun with us. We're going to teach her to shed hunt. We're going to teach her to track deer. So, but we're going to let her down right now. And she's going to go running off. All right, so we're going to do the comparison of the Predator platform uh, against the Out on a Limb Ridge Runner. So I'm going to show you the specs on both of them. Then we'll put them on our famous crazy tree in the backyard and see how it turns out. All right, guys, let's go over to the table and we will see how they compare with the dimensions. All right. Okay, guys, so we're here checking out the two side by side with their dimensions. So we've got the Predator platform over here and we've got the Ridge Runner over here. Let's start off with price. Price on the Predator platform $179.99 and price on the Ridge Runner $159.99 and um, the weight. Predator comes in at 3 pounds 6.6 .6 ounces and the weight on the Ridge Runner is 4 pounds 0.3 ounces which is about 9.7 ounces or 9.7 ounces more. Adjustability. Um, on the Predator, we can do a tilt down of 23 degrees and an adjustment up of 21 degrees. On the Ridge Runner, we can do a tilt down of 7.5 and a tilt up of 12.5 degrees. Um, there is room for the adjusting bolts down here that it could be maybe a quarter inch longer, which would give a little bit more adjustability. Uh, it could almost go up to a half inch from the screwed all the way in until hitting these teeth where the teeth, um, the back part of the teeth comes into the main frame here. Um, all right, so overall, let's see here, the width. Ridge Runner comes in at 16. The, and this is the basically the outside, outside widest edge. And the Predator platform comes in at a 11 and 5 eighths. Um, it does taper down the ridge, or the Predator platform tapers down to 10 on the main section right here. And on the Ridge Runner, basically this is the 16 here. The front, and I'm using right about this area here, is about 12 and 5 eighths inches where you can stand as opposed to the front of this, which is 11 and 5 eighths inches. So you got really another whole inch across the front on the Ridge Runner. All right. So from the tree, from the teeth to the front of the platform, 11 and 5 eighths inches. And on the Ridge Runner, from the tree to the front edge is 10, uh, 10 and 1 eighth inches. So you got about another 4 eighths on here. And depth from the front of this bracket right here, where you're going to be standing if you were sideways with your feet this way, um, is seven inches from here to the end. And then from the Ridge Runner, from right here, this part of the bracket to the front is seven and nine sixteenths. All right, so overall length of this one it's folded down um, with this part folded down and with the predator platforms folded down the thickness of the ridge runner is three and three quarter inches thick so from the bottom all the way up to the top of the teeth when this thing is folded down like this so i'm giving you that for packability purposes and the ridge runner like i said is three and a half the I'm sorry, the Predator is three and a half and the Ridge Runner is three and three quarters. So you got about a half inch extra thickness on this. Push-offs. We talked about push-offs on the last one too. So you've got this little portion right here on the Predator platform, which is one and five eighths. The push-off on this side right here of the Ridge Runner is five inches. You can see that nice area right there to push off of. We did talk about you do have that extra part right here. If I move this, that you could push off of also. Um, you saw in one of my videos, I used the double steps. If I had the platform at six o'clock, I put at um, nine and three o'clock a double step. 
I can do that on this because of the space behind the bar. Um, if I want to do that with the Ridge Runner, I would possibly have to um, file off a couple teeth to be able to get a bra um, be able to get the strap um, behind. If I want to do that here, it shouldn't affect the um, how it sits on the tree. I would leave the bottom and probably maybe file down one of those there, but. That has nothing to do with the stand itself. That's just my preference if I'm gonna use my double step. All right, guys, so really nice. Um, both of them, um, well built. Number one, this thing, when you take it out of the uh, package, you look at it and you think, holy cow, this thing's gonna weigh a ton. And when you pick it up, it's really only four pounds, 0.3 ounces. It's very lightweight. So there's all your specs. Let's go over to the tree and try these out and see how they work. Hey guys, so we're over at our crazy tree, our slanted tree, where we tested the uh, predator and the perch. Um, so we're going to put the um, predator on here first, and then we will try the um, out on the lib ridge, ridge runner. So, so we've got this on here. We've got the screw all the way out. This is the exact same spot we had it last time. And you can see right here that we've got it adjusted. So when I put some pressure on there, we are going to be level, okay? So let's crawl up there. And we're going to hook in. Probably bring it down a little bit. Flex my saddle. And now we're in place. So about the comfortable spot where I like it. We'll keep continuing to play with it throughout the uh, season. And getting it dialed in. So, feels good. You can do your side pressure on here. I can't, I can put my... Um, don't have my double steps on the tree and I'll explain why I don't have them on there but same thing we've got good pressure on this side and on the other side we can come around we've got good pressure and it's not coming away from the tree or shifting off the tree staying nice and solid on that tree so we're pretty good on this one so now we're going to get down and we're going to put the ridge runner right here and see how it does on the tree. We'll try and get that bottom part of the platform even with where the bottom of the predator platform is. All right. So let me get down and we will I'll unhook and we'll hook up the other one. OK, guys, so we're going to put the ridge runner on. I didn't show putting the predator on, but you'll see me put the predator on on the other sides. But you've seen me put the predator on the tree in multiple videos and in the video when I did the uh, perch comparison. Uh, against the prayer platform, but we haven't put this on a tree for you yet Or we have in the one video on the first uh, impressions, but we'll put it on the tree right here So we're gonna want the bottom Because this is pretty much lined up very close to the exact spot right here So we're gonna put that that's where the teeth are and on this one if you recall we have to basically put it on the tree like this So I'm gonna put it on the tree take it around same premise that I like to do I like to shorten this up if my beautiful assistant comes around the other side. I'm gonna come underneath the rope that the dog is pulling around. And same thing, I've got it short of the button. I've got it short of the button, so then I like to keep pressure on it so it doesn't fall down on the back part of the tree. Bring it around until we can get it on the button and then go ahead and tighten it down. And the one thing I am noticing, I mean, these buttons are offset, and I'll show you that when I take it off. But you can see how when it's in this upright position, how they are kind of barely on those buttons. It's a good thing they have this stitch in here. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna try and cam it over. So basically you bring it up and then cam it over. And we're pretty close, but we're going to take it. It says bring it down again. We're going to tighten it up again. Like that. And then we're going to, you can see here. Now we want to make sure that that fits in there. I'll make sure they don't come off. Pull up. And we're going to bring it down. Now. What we're going to do here is, here's the adjuster button right here in the middle. And I'm going to pull this up a little bit. 
and we're gonna have to turn that all the way in and that's as far as she's gonna go and let's see what happens so it's pretty good I'll have her come around the other side and we'll throw the level on there so front to back with my pressure on here I can't get it completely level on this side I'll even put my weight on it to see if we can get it to be level So you can see the bubble still won't get to level. I'm gonna go ahead and strap in. But I will tell you this, the platform is right even where it's at. You're only standing on the edge. Um, it does feel good. I'm gonna get rid of the level real quick. I'm um, doing side pressure. Let's see what happens on the side pressure. You can see how it comes up when you take your pressure off. But once you put pressure back on, it grabs right into that tree. Doesn't move. We're going to come back around. We're going to do the other side. Going to get that side pressure. You can see how it really is into that tree. It doesn't move at all side pressure wise. So this way, I mean, it feels very good. You are on a slight up because we've got that button turned all the way in. It doesn't have as much adjustment as the Predator platform. I like the way it feels on your feet though. You've got a lot of room. Um, feels pretty good. And when you stand on it like this, you've got full support on your feet. Feels pretty good on that side. And then leaning back again, feeling really good. So on this side of the tree, um, very similar. We can't get the platform of the Ridge Runner level. It's out of whack a little bit because um, there's not as much adjustment in the bolt, but it feels really good as far as comfort. Um, I know I watched um, one of the couple guys do the um, podium and if they had wet boots on you had that squeaky sound on the podium platform you're not going to get that with this this is a nice rough surface and it's just like the perch but it feels really good i mean he did a really good job it looks really beefy but it is pretty light and um, let's we're going to get down we're going to put it on the back side of the tree and see how it goes there all right guys so we're back on the back side of our crazy tree and you can see right here is where we kind of hooked in before with the perch so we're going to line this baby right back up, right there, which means this is going to be right here. Make your strap short. So if your strap is short, then all you need to do is pull it till it gets to the button. That way it doesn't fall down. You're still keeping pressure on the back part and then tighten it in. And now we've got to, you can see what happened. We had this adjusted for the other side of the tree. We're gonna pull up and screw this bolt all the way in. Or we'll play with it till we get it very close. And see the adjustment going on right there. So that's still down a little bit. I'm gonna grab the level real quick. We're still out of whack. Gonna turn it in a little more. And we're gonna adjust right now. It's getting very close, but I want to make sure we're on the tree good. We're set. We're gonna go in. Nice and solid. Okay, we need to come down, so we need to loosen the bolt. And you can see right there, we're almost level. We can go up a little bit if we want to get it exactly level. All right. 
So I think we're pretty good there. When I put pressure on, I'll be just about level. We'll do one more turn. There we go. All right, we're going to put that on the ground. I'm going to go up onto the platform. I'm going to hook in. Sitting back, coming in. All right, so we're looking pretty good. You can see the side pressure. We're coming around. Still got the side pressure. And we're on the back side of the crazy turning tree. Coming this way. It's moving a little bit. But it really looks good. We can level it out. And we're kind of good here. I think my rope slipped down just a little bit here. But you can see that predator platform is not moving. It's right where it's supposed to be. So I'm going to get down. We're going to put the ridge runner on this side. And remember last time we tried to stand on this? I can stand on this. You can see I can stand on it. Yeah, I've got to lean in there, but... I can still stand on it. With the perch, we couldn't stand on it. So we'll see how the ridge runner does. All right, so let me unhook. And we'll hook up the ridge runner. And we're gonna try and line up the bottom right about where that spike was going in there. So then you're gonna bring this up like so. I pass this around the tree. And I'm short again, like I like to be. Bring it in. I'm gonna turn this though, give us a little, give us a little room to move this thing. And got it right on the button. And we're gonna tighten it down. Now we're gonna cam it over. And we're right about right at that end where it was. So now you can see how this is really adjusted this way. What I'm going to do before I adjust it is I want to bring it up, tighten it again, make sure I'm good and tight, and then we're going to cam it over. Now I'm going to bring the platform up and I'm going to unscrew this. Probably I'm going to need to go as far as this thing will go. That's falling out. Maybe put a thread back in. And we'll stand on that and see what we can do on this side. So, with pressure, I can get it level on the back side. That's impressive on this side. All right, so let's get up there and see how she feels. All right, so we're in there. Now I think it has sunk into the tree a little bit more because I feel like I'm on the downward slope on this. So I may, I'm gonna get down real quick and see if I can adjust it up a little bit more. So I think when that sunk in, I think we came down, would be my guess. Yep, we came down. So we did come down. So you can see where the bubble's going now when I put pressure on there. So the issue is I can't come out any further with that button, which would bring it up. Might be able to get another half a turn out of it. That's about as far as I can go. So I'm going to leave it on there so you can see where we're at when we're standing on it. So you can see it is out of whack a little bit. Oops. And I'm gonna hook my bridge in here. 
All right. So we're on here. I mean, it still feels very comfortable. It is, I can't really adjust it anymore. So I am on a downward angle a little bit. I can't bring it up anymore, um, but it is very close. I mean, it's very comfortable. Now let's see if we can stand on it. That was the problem we had with the perch. If you recall, we couldn't stand on it. On this one, I can stand on it if I really lean in a little bit. Because the platform does come out further, which is nice. Um, and I can stand on it. And I've really got a good gr uh, grip with my boots on there. But it is kind of hard. I can stand. It's sinking a little bit more into this tree. But it does do pretty good. We just don't have the thread capacity that the uh, Predator has um, as far as threading in and out. But I really like the way the platform feels. So um, they did a really good job with this. A well done job by out on a limb. The Ridge Runner is really nice. Nice feel on the platform. But we just can't get the adjustability that we can with the um, Predator platform because the bolt is much longer so we can go in and out further but I really like the feel of this um, and I'm going to show you I'm going to get down I'm going to show you those buttons on here real quick so we'll get down so on these buttons here let me show you You can see the buttons on here, how they're almost a little bit off on the back side, but then they do come off quite a bit this way, so your strap when it goes on there will bite on there. And it is a great idea that they stitch this thread here, because if you're trying to get this portion of it on there, you'd have a hard time. So doing that nice little stitch there was an awesome idea to get you a good fit on that button and bringing that out. Could have maybe gone a little bit bigger, maybe. I don't know if that would have helped when you're trying to cam it, but really good job. Hey guys, so we're gonna come, we came over to the other side of the yard and we're gonna get on this tree because it is straight and see how the two compare on a straight tree, okay? Sorry if the camera moves a little bit, I got the dog down there playing with it. So, all right. So I put a bee stick here to get up here. Yeah, we're going to hook in. And we're feeling good. We know side pressure is not an issue with these. So we're really good here. We're feeling good. You've got that, you're both, your, you know, my feet are both on the platform with about an inch on each side. Can put them apart from each other a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna get down and we're gonna put the uh, ridge runner on here. But yeah, side pressure is still great on this. It doesn't move anywhere. We're gonna put the ridge runner on now. And put this over this one. Stick it right about here. Oops. Short again, so I can get to the button. We'll loosen it by pushing the button to get to it. Get it over the button and then tighten it down. I'm gonna keep doing like they say pushing it down and then bringing it back up, tightening it and we'll push it down again. All right, let's go up there on the straight tree. <laughs> Hook 
lock ourselves back in. I think we may be just a tad bit higher, so we're going to move this up. And there we go. And the Ridge Runner is very comfortable. It is really nice. Um, you are sitting, I mean, it's got a wider platform. My feet, when I put them apart on the edges where I can stand, I probably have a, probably a six inch gap between my feet, which is really nice. When I put them on the uh, uh, Predator, you probably had about this much between your feet, probably about two, three inches. So you got about another four inches between your feet. It's so a really nice side pressure, same thing. The only thing I do see is still is those buttons where the strap goes. You really have to make sure they're underneath that lip because uh, this one is pretty much underneath the lip. It comes up just a little bit, but other than that, this is really comfortable. And if you want to stand on it sideways, very comfortable. I could probably adjust the screws a little bit to get it level this tree is pretty straight and looking at the bolt on the ridge runner right now i'm out probably about yeah two threads three threads it's got a spot where there is no thread so i could probably come up just a little bit but this is really comfortable on a straight tree i would say on a completely straight tree like this the ridge runner platform is probably more comfortable because um, you have more room on the actual platform itself, it seems. When you stand sideways, you've got complete boots on there. And like I said, when you're standing here, your feet aren't really close together. You can spread them apart. And as far as the grooves in the platform itself, I can tell you if it gets wet or any snow on it, those are really gonna grab onto your boots. Uh, I'm not too sure on the Predator how it would grab because they're more rounded. These have like little sharp edges. So yeah, like when you're standing like this sideways like this, you're not going anywhere. All right guys, so this is on the straight tree. Hey guys, so in summary, tethered Predator, out on a limb, Ridge Runner. These are both awesome stands. Uh, the one little thing with the Predator still has that a little bit extra of adjustability, but I will tell you, I really love the platform on the Ridge Runner. When you look at that cutting there, you really get a good grip. You can see the difference as far as, hopefully you're getting that in the camera, the difference on the front and being able to stand off on there. You can get a wider stance on your feet when you're standing on it. Both are great. This one's all closed up and you can see the packability of that. And here is the Ridge Runner and the packability of that. But both awesome stands. I mean, you're not gonna go wrong with either one of these. You've got some adjustability in this, which is nice. And you've got definite adjustability in the Predator platform. Guys, it's gonna be your choice. There are a lot of uh, platforms out in the market. You have to try them out. If you're in this area and you wanna try one of mine out, feel free to reach out to me. I'll let you try them out. But hopefully that helps some of the information I gave you. Um, they're both awesome platforms. Really like it. I really like the platform on this Ridge Runner. I like how it, you I gotta say it again, you can see how that really will grab on. You can see on the Predator, it is a little rounded, these things here. They do grab onto your boots some, but this one really grabs onto your boots. All right, guys, so hopefully that helps. Maybe it doesn't, maybe it makes it more difficult, but both great stands. You can see the difference in sizes. And they'll both probably pretty much strap onto my backpack the same way. And we'll be doing that video eh, probably within a month on the whole setup backpack take it out to a tree and start climbing show you guys all right guys have a great day until the next video bye bye